Money out of it. It doesn't want anything to actually do with it, so we won't even mention. Welcome to the Matrix, where true. everything's about the hustle, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> bye, bye, YouTube. This week, sorry guys, we got kicked off YouTube for a week. They don't like us. I think that one's on me. I double tapped us, yes, last week. Uh, guys, welcome to the Hotbox Show. And as always, we'll be talking. Lang dang. Lang. Nice. Yo, I feel like we're about to go scrum, Oaks. <laughs> really, and for this quarter to Friday with all of you all, hey? Mm. Uh, folks, thank you for tuning in. Uh, this week, we will be discussing the latest High Court-ish victory for Mary Jane. We'll be puffing on the G-Pen Nova, that's a cookies collab, and we ask ourselves if it's okay to wash your weed. So, Oaks, please roll the fat one, and let's get Lang tuned out, eh? Hey? Well, this washing weed, I've seen some amazing... Uh, Debates and conversations spring up around it, so I'm looking forward to it. Today. Like, I've got so many questions. Do you, do you like use Omo? Do you skip? I've got a friend <laughs> that washes his tobacco. He orders like rough tobacco from this guy called the Buck Boo, and then he washes it uh, as per instruction. What in the and, Speed Queen? And then he makes his own cigarettes, yeah, and he saves loads of money on tobacco. It started in lockdown, but he's still doing it. He bought so much. A lot of things started in lockdown that are being continued. <laughs> I think this is going to be a <laughs> lot more King interesting King than King I King thought. I have been twenty a carton now. <laughs> so, Just guys, smoking kings. <laughs> so guys, before we take a look at this week's Dan Cam, um, the week's Zol poll. Have you ever washed your herb? Mm -hmm. Yes? No? Sis, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've washed it around my lungs before exhaling, but no. Yeah, it happens, eh? It happens, eh? Yeah. <laughs> well, I see Dan looks like he's actually shy to say he's washed these herbs because no, sometimes you have to, eh? Yes, of course I have. You go, I mean, if you if you want to save all that work you've gone through, you better go do it. You've got to do it. Nothing wrong with this. There's nothing wrong with washing buds. Dale, yeah. something you've had to do yet, wash by No, eh? no, I haven't. Okay. No, flush it a while before. Don't feed it nutrients or anything at least a week or two before, I suppose. You'll be fine. Okay. I think we're going to have Bull High, the science guy, with Dan, yeah, later. Sean, you well, fluent with it? I know people that uh, get rid of uh, stuff like mildew and that by okay. washing the plant. So they dip the plant in, I think, Hydrogen liquid peroxide nitrogen peroxide, whatever, yeah. And um, <laughs> that I know about. Is that what you mean by have you ever washed your yeah, weed? That, that. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty so you're much, speaking yeah. to a grower then, not a smoker. Yeah. Well, I think it's becoming relevant because I never used to hear about this. Backstage, ever washed your weed brew? Never. Never? Never. Sis, 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 sis <laughs> man. Sis, sis, <laughs> so guys, please vote in this week's Zol poll. Have you ever washed your herb? Uh, please remember, hashtag Hotbox Show on all the socials. Mm -hmm. And then guys, should we be saying hello to anyone on the Facebook chat? Because no YouTube you this on week. I'm, on it. I'm on the Facebook chat and um, people are watching. I can see that people are watching, but nobody said hello yet. So hello, nobody. How are you guys doing? <laughs> hello, hello, YouTube everybody. boss. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> I check you, Oaks. I check. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of weird without all the people in the chat there with us. Yeah. 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 We missed them. Yeah. We missed them. Hmm. Anyway. It is. Yeah. So yeah. we promised to behave and to be PG420 and we are going to have to be selective with our, our words and our lexicon in this new world in the matrix. So we'll try not to get struck again. We'll try to be good, but deep down inside, I'm sorry, Oaks. We done fucked up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we're human. It happens. You should know we're not bots. Last week was nice and heated. <laughs> Whoever the gardener is watching on Facebook. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. High five, bro. <laughs> if you ain't first, you're last. Well done, mm. Gerber. Eh? Mm. So, what are we smoking and toking and wearing this week? Because I think, have we got swag? I'm checking three hot box shirts. Your hot boxes on the couch. Mm. Hat trick. <laughs> and two of them are the originals where we had the misprint without the, um, mm -hmm. the smoke up the top. Check. You've got the smoke. It's got the smoke. Uh, I've got limited edition. Limited edition. Limited. And then yeah. Sub Zero Scientific. Sub Zero Scientific, that's it. Yeah, ripping the extraction equipment out of the States. Nice, yeah. bro. Nice that's with the it. science. Oh, Dan, hi, the science guy. 
And I've got some uh, Dutch Buds Kif t-shirt courtesy of old Jules there. Hey, we're missing you, bro. Yo, big, big time. time uh, you know, since you started asking us about what we're wearing, I actually stood for like 15 minutes in front of my cupboard this morning going through all my shirts. And was it like a montage? <laughs> yeah, so this was not <laughs> planned. This is a coincidence. This, this is a coincidence. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, By the way, this little like piece of smoke here mm. is quite controversial because there's a reason why we got the logo with and without it. Because okay. with it, it often doesn't fit. It cuts off on the designs and it, it's it, that makes it very tricky. I think it's not. I like it, yeah. It's dope yeah. ass, really. Yeah. But I often, uh, I often help the, the design of the, the poster we put out on social media, and I use the one without the smoke, because it always, it's always in the way. Ah, uh, <laughs> bro. Hey, like if it's real smoke, it's not in the way. It's like a cat eh, in your dabs. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. Mm. So what's, what's going down here, then? Taste, you know? What are we smoking, Oaks? What well, is this? Well, let's have a look at this. <clears throat> I think we're dabbing lots. Yeah. What's in the joint you rolled, Dale? It's that, what you can see on some the table. Some of on the table, Dale. Oh. There's some of these very tiny What is it bags, actually? Yeah. I think it's a cush. Very small nuggets, as you can see. Some table yeah, smoke that we were given. Very tasty. Whoops. And you get weed that's like pretty, the prettiest stuff in the world, but doesn't taste that great. And then you get stuff that might not have the most bag appeal. But smokes like a dream. This stuff smokes really good. Mm. Yeah, dude, that's like a lot of things in life. Eh? Yeah. yeah, don't judge the weed. It's got a really good smell to it. By its, book by, by its cover vibes, yeah. Some nice dabs. And that's it, eh? Oh, where's that? We've got that marmalade, eh? The marmalade is here. Look, there's tiny bits of scrapings left. Um, but it is it is amazing. Is this the marmalade? That's the marmalade. That's why it's finished. Marmalade. Super limited, Oaks. Last and you can see it's been scraped out completely, but you can just see... Just along the inside yeah, of the rim there, there's... But we've got a trick to clean that, and we're going to do it maybe on next, next week's show. Yeah, if you, to smoke if left, you cut a straw uh, in the right way, you can clean that stuff out, and you end up with quite a few dabs. Yes, but is it a biodegradable straw? Yeah. I mean, really. No. Um, I don't know if it'll work well. with that. Maybe a hemp straw. <laughs> but we'll go there next week, guys. We mustn't get too ahead of ourselves, yeah, eh? Obviously. And then what we're going to be taking a look at in Shitzel Lit this evening, Well, then? we got this, as you can see, this bright blue... Cookies Cola with G Pen, the Nova. It's a concentrate pen. So Ooh. basically, we can stick some dabs inside this and give it a puff. Ooh. So, yeah, we're going to look at that later. Yeah, so stay tuned, guys. We're going to fire that thing up. Set it to 710, mofos. Yeah. Um, I was telling guys earlier, I'm quite impressed with the new stuff uh, G Pen is coming out with. Yeah, the Green Co range is getting yeah. good. Huh? It used to be low key pep, but now it's much more woolies. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. Much more wooden. <laughs> but you guys also got to watch out for the knockoffs, eh? That's why you must go check out our affiliates and support them to look for the real shit, eh? Because, yo, it's crazy out there, eh, Speaking guys? Speaking of affiliates, Ola, um, Jesse Daniels from the Green Affiliate. Yes. He's one of our affiliates. He's watching. Um, Zorbart, he's, he's found us on Facebook. Andrew Morris. Um, Gubba the God. Now, it's not that your YouTube doesn't want to let you in. It's that we've been kind of mm, banned for a week. Yeah, we just got a slap on the wrist. It's okay. Yeah, we'll be back. We'll be back. Yeah. We've been naughty. We're sitting in the corner. We're not doing it quietly, though. <laughs> <laughs> we're broadcasting. Come sit in our corner with us. So if you'd like to go see why we get, how we got banned, go watch last week's episode after the show, guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite obvious what triggered it. <laughs> oh, Dan, you're mining yeah. there. Pooh hey? Bear will attack you for that, job. you got to smoke all of that, eh? That's what you would say to me. Take it, just take it. Okay, so we've got the dab rig warmed up. Which one are we starting with? Yeah, let's get hot in here. Mofo. There we go. Yes, I'm we'll, do there. we'll do it straight away. Ooh, that's too much for me. I do ladylike size dabs. So <laughs> I, I can control my high. Mm, back. Mm, mm. <coughs> what next? Oh. So, guys, please remember to vote in this week's Zoll poll. Uh, have you ever washed your butt? Uh, hashtag Hotbox Show on all the socials. And remember, on Insta, your gram, tag us. What's it show? Hotbox Show. Co. Z. A. Hotbox Show. Co. Z. A. Nice. Tag us. Yeah, on Instagram. Yeah. Tag us if you want to take part in Instagram. We'll be sending some swag your way. 
But are, no swag. Are we allowed to tell them what's in the goodie bags? We never really away? know. I don't even know. I mean, I it's a variety. One. Like, if you opened one, I bet you one, the next one. It changes week to week. I don't know. It's like a lucky packet. It's like a kind of I know it's a lucky packet. The one that we sent off recently had a shirt in it. Yeah, we usually make sure that there's a shirt that goes away. Can we fly up the cam again? So it usually includes a shirt courtesy of Fields of Green for All. Please go check them out. And then random stuff courtesy of the Hypo and whatever else affiliates leave or send us. It's just, yeah. it's it's stoner stuff, bro. You got a if Kush Carnicle, someone... pre, pre, pre royal cones. This one's a oh, what yeah. flavor? Mm. Strawberry or something. Ooh, yum. And everyone's different. Every Ooh, one of the prizes is different, bro. Mm. You got a sticker, <laughs> a bunch of stickers here. Oh, nice. More stickers. You've got a key ring, you've got a dab container, you've got some intensity, what is this one? This is the CBD. CBD. Yeah. 100, 100 milligram CBD. Yeah. Uh, legal. Legal. You got your pipe. This is lots of stuff, man. <laughs> this is so much things. I mean, look, it doesn't legal. stop, doesn't stop, doesn't stop. More, a little grinder. Yeah. That doesn't include the butt that you see at the moment, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but it's the buckets and spray. Yeah. That's yeah, like so Christmas there, nice, man. Eh? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Look it's a little brown nice bag of dude. delight, man. Yeah, and yeah. 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 What's that, a pin? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a, a pin great page. pin, man. That's yeah. really cool. Oh, yeah, Instagram. Oh, and we get super sweet. stoned when we pack these bags. So we pack all kinds. We do. So we pack it with really good vibes as well. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. Not even big, though. But they're all different. They don't all contain the same stuff, though. But they're all dope. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, mm. they really are. Dope as fuck. So, oh. guys, yeah. Get your, open those Instagram accounts. Tag that shit. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Yes. I mean, a lot of people have... How many people have won those? Mm. Well, we've been a doing lot, eh? I'm Three years. Check. Well, but we, we, we didn't do Instagram the whole time. Cool. Uh, for a, what I'll do is I'll go back mm -hmm. through mm -hmm. and I'll figure out which episode we started, and then one day we'll have like at least twenty by now. Oh, grand champion! You have to have yeah. a grand champion or something. Grand champion. A grand, grand champion. champion. <laughs> Since they are grand champions. Sometimes guys have said on the show we laugh too soon when there's a joke. So for those who didn't catch it, what was that joke? Graham. Instagram. A Graham Instagram. Instagram. Graham champion. You see, I couldn't even remember the second half of the sentence. That's why we laugh straight away. So, folks, uh, we're going to be having a high five this evening with Anthony Reese from TNHA. Uh, before we get into that, there's been a lot going on there. So, I think before we go deep into that, we should speak a little bit about what's happening in terms of CBD and natural healers and things like that because. In terms of natural medicine, there seems to be a lot of people who think CBD should just be there. Mm -hmm. But we're also seeing there's like these limits, like 20 milligram daily, daily dose limits. <coughs> it's, it's so weird out there. And because people are trying to do it in pet food, as medicine, mm -hmm. as this, as that, there's so many rules across the board. Mm -hmm. But it, it feels like uh, what it's the traditional natural health alliance. Yeah, but a lot of those CBD things you just mentioned has changed now. Exactly. Because SAPRA is now not controlling CBD anymore. That's the implication. But uh, Anthony should, will um, tell us details about this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't... I think that the limits that we have on CBD at the moment are ridiculous. But, but I do think that there should be limits because I know that CBD causes liver issues. Yes. Oh, Too yeah. much CBD causes head health issues. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Too much liver. CBD. And there's, I can't remember, there is, if any of you remember what it is, what the, the normal, like, hepatic issues limits would be. I think it's like 1,300 milligrams yeah, a day. Cause the, but that's if you're doing CBD on its own now. Yeah. I'm sure if you're yeah. taking CBD, THC combined with a one to one yeah, yeah. whatever it would be. It'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be a lot better off. Because you'll, be, you'll yeah. fall asleep before you can overdose. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> CBD by itself, you know, any extract like that mm. makes me Everything. worry a little bit. It shouldn't be on Every its own. Every single thing be in moderation. Medicine. That's what the pharmaceuticals do. That's what they're all about is mm. isolating certain yeah. compounds. But did you guys check yeah. that uh, on 5FM and I think on a couple of other radio stations, there are these CBD ads brought to you by Adcock Ingram. Mm. Yes, I've heard I haven't really mm. been listening to the They're radio. They're probably just making some extra pocket money. That's so if you like a little bit of CBD in your oxy, oh, strike. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it called a CB doxy? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's called a slow cosby. You're speaking so many tongues now that the boss won't pick you up. 
<laughs> oh, guys, it's so lucky to be hanging out with UCL on this quarter mm. to Friday. Um, but CBD, it is like you say, things have changed again now, Charles. Yeah. Do yeah. you do you? I know that there's this thing happening now with TNA and Anthony's going to bring us up to I'm date. I'm very curious. Do you think that we're going to get to a point where everyone will be happy, or do you think it's going to be one of those things that gets fought and fought and these little battles, one little battles? It's going to be like that always. It's never going to be a uh, legalization is a myth. It's not a big switch that suddenly gets flipped. And everybody claps hands. Mm. It's a series of small mm. changes that happens over time, unfortunately. So don't expect that New Year's fireworks moment. It's not going to happen. As in life, you yeah. cannot keep mm. all of the people happy all of the time, ever. Mm. We're not going to make it, keep get everybody happy, unfortunately. But this is a big one. This this judgment. Um, they've been fighting for this since the sixties, apparently. Mm. Yeah, it's been fifty years of battling for complementary medicines to be independently. Um, yeah. I need to get more detail. Regulated, yeah. but I don't know the details. Anthony's the expert. Because this is all kind of breaking stuff, and it's still like in this is as it's happening. Because Anthony was saying a bit earlier on, the victory hasn't been won, but we'll yeah, get deep into there's that. A possibility that Sopra will appeal, the Sopra, but oh. I, uh, it would be foolish of them to do that. I think. Because there's been, and before we get on to Anthony, will you guys get a hold of him so long? Um, there was, I don't want to spill the story because I'd like to give the story a bit of a chance to breathe before we talk about it next week. But a popular local retailer is now selling or marketing CBD bud, as in physical bud, yeah. to the market. Do you think that's something that's going to fly? Uh, I think it's something that's going to be novel Theory. for a while. What do you do? Do you just start calling it a hemp? Do you just yeah, it get is somebody exactly then to classify it is. Well, it is, it's hemp. It's kind of hemp. It's, hemp. It's, it's, it's the same it thing, right? Because well, no, we can't hemp. argue that it's not hemp. You say, we will say it's the same thing. It's nice. It's the same thing. Good point, though. It's nice, but it does, it's... But we you get the very next week's fragrant hemp buds. CBD mm. grows very fragrant with very crystal, you know, huge trichomes. Is it dank? Is the only question? I've seen the photos of this particular bud that's going to be sold. I've seen the photos of it uh, in the ground, and I've seen photos of it harvested. And it looks just like weed, right? Trimmed. Weed weed is. It looks dank as fuck, bro. It does. So my question is, with any of our Instagram, Instagram. How are you going to explain to the policemen that it's CBD? Exactly. That's going to be like. They've got the paperwork. They've got the paperwork to prove that it comes from a permitted grow. Not a sacro so, permitted grow. So if this is legal to buy then CPD cigarettes, you can have a box of this with you with a certificate to prove to the police that what you're smoking is, is not psychoactive. Yep. I actually see Look, I think he's taking a big brave step um, because he knows he's going to ruffle some feathers. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait to see what and the reaction think, will be. And I hope the media is on it. So yeah. there's a I company, think he's very brave and I take my hat off to him. Yeah. And yeah, we're going to talk about yeah, it properly yeah, next week. Little. There's a company called Hemp Heads and they're making what? cigarettes. They're like, it's a box of cigarettes and it's hemp, I mean, it's CBD flower inside the cigarettes. That's what Woodland wants and to each do. each one is like 1,500 milligrams, each cigarette. It's crazy. Oh, it's but, that's, of CBD. but that's way over, over the flower. 20... Yeah. And, and oil infused into the... Mm. Into it. Into it, yeah. Wow. And, wow. Wow. and it looks just like a cigarette. I mean, why would you go so intense? It's not like you're trying to get fucked. Yeah. Well, but if Hemp that's CBD, it's then it's I would call those like anti-anxiety cigarettes. Yeah, which you like, smoke. Yeah, ones. like see when you're having a like, smoke one of these yeah. things, you're gonna. Yeah. Yeah. Then you smoke it at a party, would yeah. you? Yeah. Well, why can you take CBD oil but not CBD flour? But it's I maintain it's just like there's a place yeah. in this world yeah. for Castle Light. Yes. Yeah. There's a place in there's this world even, for weed light. Like, even the non-alcoholic beers are selling well. People exactly. that want to smoke weed, they want to taste no. what weeds taste like, they want to t- go through the ritual, they want to be part of this culture, they want to do it, they'll smoke, they'll take it. They might try soft start with this hip. Yeah, I think the market for CBD cigarettes is a bit bigger than we may think. It's a I good starting point for, for people that are curious. To yeah, THC, and I believe that this hemp bite will be the gateway. I mean, the legalization is this huge big mountain. Mm. How do you, as hikers, how do we do it? We, we do it one fucking step, step at a time. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you're rich enough to afford a helicopter to get you to the top quickly. Yeah. You know, step by step. And this is one of the steps. This is just one of the steps. And he's fucking brave for taking that step. Yeah, I think we're going to go deep in deep. next week's poll. Yeah. And CBD and N about yeah. the CBD and N in your, in your weed and all that now going down. It's so interesting, but it's just broken. But I think really the story of the week 
is the vibes of TNHA. Yeah. Uh, we've got yeah. Anthony Reese joining us this yeah. evening from TNHA. Uh, Charles, you know a bit about Anthony's story as well. I think you've known more about it than all of us. Um, what's pickling your brain about it? Have you got any big uh, questions? I know very thing? little, and, and it's a very complicated thing because it's about regulation and scheduling and all that. Um, so Anthony is going to be the, the better one to explain it. But uh, the, this judgment is not just about cannabis. It's about a, a broader exactly. subject, but it pertains to specifically CBD when it comes to cannabis. Mm. It was a lot involving it, also the distinction, because I did try to get my way a little bit through the court papers mm. today, but it was 53 pages and I started too late. Um, <clears throat> it was also trying to differentiate. It, it, the state was trying to... Uh, take hold of not only complementary medicine but health supplements as well mm. and like health supplements aren't controlled and they were trying to control and that and shouldn't be controlled and by they the shouldn't medicine be controlled. no exactly so yeah this is also going to have implications for yeah. the so called licenses that the SAPRA issue um, I mean they're just trying to make themselves feel relevant no, so that, that's one of the they're questions I want to ask Anthony well it's part of the making this plant super science Mm -hmm. Don't worry, the scientists will take care of it. The pharmacists will take care yeah. of it. Because that was the big thing in America as well, is where they made it super science. Oh, to make oil is dangerous. Mm -hmm. Can't make it at home. Yeah, no, so you can make it at home, and people do. You know, it's... Yeah. it's Safely. Yeah, so. exactly. And have been for years. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. uh, home uh, alchemy is the basic existence of Africa. They're so, they're they're making their own brews. Yeah, and, exactly. There's know, so many so people making their own equipment yeah. as well. Like, mm. It's not even just, yeah. So, yeah, so mm. making it super science is going to be difficult here yeah? because uh, there's a big understanding of natural health already in this continent. Yeah. You know? yeah, what we should um, be doing is educating small villages in how to make their own cannabis medicine. Because it can be done mm -hmm. uh, in a safe way at home yeah. in the kitchen. Oh, easy. You don't have to have you alcohol know. under pressure and all that. No, kind no. Of, yeah. I, can, I can just see. What, what I keep hearing, because I, yeah, I see how Koi Dank there in the chat, I wear, bro. <laughs> I keep hearing about Oaks who are always keen to take things like rosin presses and yes. practical things out there on the back of a bucket yeah. and spend a week squishing or yeah. whatever. Because, you know, there is a culture that, not just we as a cannabis culture, but as the people within our culture that heal themselves and that there's a bigger picture, as you say, you know. And it's this right to heal yourself with things like, because I hear like even white pepper's an issue. Or something like this. It's we are we are we are eroding these cultures yeah. quite aggressively, which sucks because like fuck man, you can do so much worse to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Willingly and gleefully and in, in sheer sugar. abundance. Yeah, oh, look at yeah. me, Oaks. Exactly. I'm telling you, <laughs> the amount of this I've drank today has done a lot more harm than this, I promise you. Yes. <laughs> well totally. for a long yeah. for long for it fact. was like more the foreign um, natural um, medicines that were bad for long and now it's becoming the African ones as well you know what I mean our own medicine for yeah it's capture they want to yeah. capture it it's all about capture there we go capture yeah. they want well, to make money Zambang. Zambang Zambang money, has money, already money. been bought out Buhu is regulated Rooibos is regulated yeah Nestle almost bought yeah. Rooibos yeah. right. yeah. all the right to natural the medicines are going to be starting to be regulated yeah. that's, that's what they, they tried, tried to pass a bill two or three years ago where keeping what back seed was illegal and all the small subsistence farmers stood up and said, listen, but this is the only way we've been growing. Yeah. So. No, they tried to force them to have to buy yeah. seed every year. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah that didn't go far. But that's, mon <laughs> that's heavy shit like Monsanto vibes. But that's part of it. There's so many if people. You can't grow your own herbs, indigenous yeah. herbs, and you have to keep buying African herbs to grow in your garden. I mean, what's the point? Yeah, yeah, what's the point? Uh, yeah. Koi Dang says yes, CBD and hemp is eroding the cannabis community and culture. Yes. I, I, it's so tough. I've had to grow up a lot over all these years of activism. Yeah, don't and believe the hype. We have to be woke about the hemp thing. But like Joe was saying earlier, and so many people say this to me, and it's hard to ignore it. It's like, it's, it's opening the door in a way. Yeah, it's it is. But then... I also wonder that when, say, someone's got a really vested interest, let's say, let's say we get CBD for the next 10 years and nothing else, mm. and the Oaks lawyer, and they hoy, and adcock has got it, yeah. and then it comes time where we can make a difference again, would CBD fight back? 
No, I think it's going to split up much quicker than that. I think CBG is around the corner, and Look, by, by next year, CBG is going to be the next CBG. Yeah, it's all CBs. It's all the CBs. CBG. And then there's still 418 cannabinoids the left. It's rather it's thinning the herd. You know, thinning the herd. There's, there's guys that are true to the you know the original, we actually call it the OG mm. medicine that comes from the THC CBD combination, and believing that it's a whole plant that does everything we work together. And then you've got the guys that are basically pulling in that are pushing the CBD hemp agenda very hard. Um, and calling it the same thing, but it's not. But then you'll see later on it's going to thin the herd because they're going to go one way and the true. Well, I don't know. I'd love to say the true, but like the OG cannabis community will be always be the OG. There's, 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 there's the CBD, yeah. the, 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 the separated, or there's the full spectrum. Like yeah, full full spectrum. the full spectrum side of things or the separated side. And yeah. even if you were to go with hemp, if you were to go with like distillate that goes CBD and THC, you're still able to take a bit of it, but it's still not. Whole plant or together, you know. But it works. Like, are we going to fight when people want to grow acres and acres of hemp so that we can have hemp roads, hemp plastic? Work? Is that also eroding cannabis culture? No. No, like, we'll fight it's, for it's, that. It's, it's, it's thing adding to the cannabis you culture. See, it's so. We're for embracing industrial every use, you have to embrace it. You can't be like, well, because they're going to yeah. grow fields of hemp and they're going to build walls and houses. We're not going to support it. That is just so narrow minded. We have to support that kind of stuff. And every time they start to. focusing on a new cannabinoid, we should celebrate because it's just it's it's more will people it, embracing. Will it not normalize our it? Will it normalize yeah. it? Yeah, but oh. people people sometimes yeah. um, embrace CBD um, to the detriment of THC. Yeah, and Agreed. THC is made out to be the bad boy, which yeah. it is absolutely not. Yeah. And the original cannabis community will always love the THC. That's, yeah. I don't see that. We want to get out. high. That's because yeah. they don't we want to get proud high. Say. Sick. But they'll take that We're chronic medication. We're not sick. We want to get high. And yeah, we don't want to make socks when we're not sick. We want to get high. They don't want to get high from cannabis, but they take that chronic medication um, for their sleeping tablets. You know what I mean? Which, guess what? It's making you high. It's just different high. You know what I mean? We just yeah. call it preventative medicine. Well, it's sober, sober October. It's sober October, right? Yeah. But yet people, all I'm the sober. people that have, that have taken a break from smoking weed or whatever now smoke more cigarettes and drink more coffee than they did. Yeah. Are you joking? Mm. You're so you're saying swings and roundabouts, bro? Well, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, it's... it's yeah. Everything goes through fad phases. When a new thing gets discovered, a new song gets discovered, it gets played on the radio until it's dead. Nobody wants to hear it again for another 20 years. And then we move on to the next song. That How we long call. until it's dead? Yeah. How long until CBD is dead? By I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it will be ever be as dead. As soon as CBG starts <laughs> like peeking bigger. out a you little bit more, you said there. CBD, CBD's CBG, going to be CBC, tucked CBC, to the CBD, back. CBD, yeah. CBX, CBD, You're going to arrive at the bri with your CBD water and people are going to laugh at you. They're going to say, man, you must come and have this CBD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're going to give you, that's 2018, yeah, yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah. Oh, that's so five minutes ago. I want <laughs> CBG bed. Thanks. It's almost like 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 there's the Bitcoin and the Litecoin and the this and the that. There's all these these factors now, which are interesting. But honestly, guys, I'm, sometimes I'm simplistic. I think the simplistic answer, although it might seem altruistic, is all, let's just do mo of it all. Mo THC, mm. mo CBD, mm. mo, mo CBDG, all that. Bro. Um, yeah. I mean, if they're going to allow like, that CBD to flourish and become something that, that you know, they allow it, they should allow it all. Yeah. Yeah, it, it does make it. me angry, however, to go to the supermarket and see CBD water and then... Somebody phones and says, I've just been arrested for half a bank. You know, yeah. That makes the me really mad. The arrests need to stop. Yeah. The yeah. arrests need to stop. We can't no keep warning after all of these things while Sorry people to get are still serious, being arrested. Yeah. And there I yeah. agree. There's no need for them at all. The Garrick, eh? Yeah. 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 Garrick's bro. We don't arrest people with cigarettes, and cigarettes are more dangerous. Well, exactly. I mean, part of this proposed cannabis bill, where if kids are around, then you can go to jail. Yeah, this cannabis bill is really like cruel I would really to like kids. to see that same rule applied to alcohol. Well, like, if people have the, got a home bar, yeah. then yeah. The second last day, kids are allowed there. Today's the last day. If they pass this Nine. bill, we can Nine. say Nine. goodbye Nine. to our yeah. children. You know, yeah. that's the end of our kids. This bill is put together by very cruel people. No, it's, it needs to be if if. <laughs> well, if I'm going to get arrested because I've got weed in my house and an under 18, then the let's just right. say you, for instance, must get arrested because you've got alcohol in your house and you yeah. same thing. under 18. Yeah. And then must you start be the limiting same. alcohol sales. And yeah. the way no, around. What if you need to compare it to alcohol and cigarettes. Right. What if your 17 year old kid gets caught with weed or weekend. gets caught smoking Ask weed and he's, much he alcohol goes to juvenile or something? No yeah. way. We're not no criminals. We are not criminals. Yeah. And. It's these arguments in a way are so bra blazingly obvious, yet 
we still have to like we were saying we're all coming from the back you know it's not like it's gonna be boom everything goes you're saying everything's gonna be fought in these little battles mm. baby steps so guys we're gonna keep trying to get anthony reese mm -hmm. on the line yeah, cool are they lining him up yeah please remember voting this week's soul poll have you ever washed your weed yes no sis man uh, remember tag us on instagram to enter instagram we've got lots of kef swag to give away and there was a bit of skinner this week before we get on to our guest that pick and pay has also now kicked a quell <laughs> so guys if well you want, done pick and pay if you want the the lowdown on a quell go back a couple of episodes and listen to the story about the cannabis cult yeah, <laughs> that cult is also well worth unstocked Fridges are, they? Oh, their branded yeah. fridges are empty. Yeah, they, there's a Netflix series coming up probably. <laughs> I know, I know how these oaks can bounce back. They must put some CBD in their water. <laughs> yeah. I want a quail bomb. Dan Craft says uh, CBD and hemp is the corn of cannabis. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> the corn of cannabis. We'll give you that. Yeah. yeah. We'll give you that. Nice one. How are we doing? Yep. Right. So, guys, we've got Anthony Reese joining us from TNHA. How's it, Anthony? How's it, guys? Nice to be with you. Hey. Good to see you again. Hi, Anthony. Um, thanks for joining us tonight. Eh? Uh, I've got a few questions for you, but uh, you should uh, explain to us what, what happened. Was it on Friday that you got the, 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 the judgment? Yeah, it was actually Saturday morning I got the judgment. Uh, it was delivered to me by email on Saturday. Obviously, with COVID and the courts closed, they're not delivering judgments in the court anymore. And uh, it would have been a bit difficult to convene everyone back on, online. So we've got our electronic ju uh, judgment, which is uh, a rather impersonal uh, way to get your judgment. Bit of a, you don't get your day in court, you know, to, to, to look into the face of your opponent when they when they hit their defeat. Okay, so but, as, um, as we, an anti -climax. we wanted to ask you uh, what the court case was about. You were in court with the SAPRA, and can you tell us uh, what was the argument and then what was the result and the implications for cannabis? CBD. We launched an application uh, to the uh, Gauteng uh, North High Court uh, in the jurisdiction of the minister and the SAPRA um, in that the minister and the SAPRA were the respondents in this case. Um, the TNHA and, and a few other uh, interested groups got together and decided at some point that the complementary medicines regulations that had been uh, promulgated in 2013 and 2017 subsequently uh, was not working for the majority of the natural health product industry in South Africa in that the regulations were overburdening and were a capture all for all natural substances, whether animal, mineral or vegetable, basically saying that, you know, if, if you've got a health product on the market, you have to register it under a very restricted pharmaceutical registration regime, as well as license yourself to the hilt as a company, whether you import, manufacture, wholesale or retail such products. So the industry has really been crippled by this uh, sort of pharmaceutical expropriation of the industry because what we've seen in the industry is that, you know, big pharma literally is, is taking over the best of products on the market that they are, the sort of uh, household brands, copying them, putting them out on the market. And, and these kind of regulations are stifling the mom and pop businesses that started this industry up in South Africa and innovated this industry. So we were not happy with the regulations. It made it impossible financially, logistically to, to go and through this, all these hoops, thick, 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 dense thickets of regulations that companies would have had to go through to comply. So we we approached the court, you know, and said it's, it's totally irrational, um, one, that a medicines regulator that has a has a historical uh, backlog of pharmaceutical registration stemming back to 2002, essentially. Nine and a half thousand uh, pharmaceutical drugs also on another list that have never been tested since 1965 for their safety, quality, and effectiveness. So over 20,000 medicines in a backlog 
that this regulator hasn't been able to even look at or give a cursory glance to protect the public, yet it wants to regulate safe natural products that have been around for years with, with low uh, harm, no harm, high safety record, and wanting to basically use its energy in that regard. We basically said there needs to be a distinction in the Medicines Act, that the Medicines Act was never designed since its inception in 1965 to regulate complementary medicines as they are today. Um, and the judge agreed, essentially, and rolled back the law to 1965 to say that a medicine is only a substance that claims to cure a disease uh, or, or prevent a disease, as in the Medicines Act. And this whole new definition of complementary medicines and health supplements that came out in this regulatory regime is not in not congruent or, or, or basically not in sync with the act itself. So she declared the complementary medicines, uh, Judge Kabushe, she declared the complementary medicines unlawful, uh, uh, regulations unlawful. Nice. That's fantastic. But, so essentially what's happened, uh, unfortunately, is the second part of the judgment um, that she has basically stayed or, or um, uh, frozen the declaration of invalidity for 12 months in giving the SAPRA 12 and the minister 12, uh, 12 months to fix the, the error. Um, we don't believe that will be possible. Um, honestly, they would have to go and make an amendment to the Medicines Act in, in, in itself. That is a long, laborious process through Parliament, and we don't believe that will happen. And we will vigorously oppose that if that has to happen. So that's essentially where we are. It's a big... Uh, uh, Breath of fresh air was to, to vindicate the CNHJ. We have been saying this right from the beginning. I've been saying this since 1996 when the, when the previous Medicines Control Council on two previous occasions tried to do exactly this. This is, this is something that you know, has culminated in this case. And it's a huge victory for the natural health product sector and a major victory for freedom of choice for people in South Africa to continue to access these products uh, without having to get a doctor's prescription for them in the future. Now that's really good news, Anthony. Yes. So, so how would you say this plays into CBD and also the licenses that the SAPRA apparently are issuing? Well, the, the, SAPRA, the SAPRA, you know, the TNHA were involved in uh, May 2019 in essentially having CBD brought right down from Schedule Schedule 4 down to an exclusion under certain parameters. Um, they changed their mind after that 12 months notice uh, when once it had expired and, and pulled CBD into the complementary medicines regulations under what they call Category D medicines, which is all complementary medicines and health supplements. Um, but now that obviously this, this the, the entire regulatory framework itself now is in, in serious question and has been declared invalid, um, CBD would naturally have to move into a new uh, a slot, so to speak. We would ultimately like it to be excluded as it was previously. There, yeah. were no there was no demonstrable harm in the previous exclusion. We had no evidence of any harm of the, to the public, which warranted it to be put into a, a regulatory regime uh, that they imposed. So we will wait and see what happens over the next uh, coming weeks. Uh, whether an appeal comes, we we do expect an appeal. It's the government. Obviously, they love to appeal everything because they've got a huge bank of lawyers that's not costing them anything. But uh, let's see where it goes. And they'll wait until the last minute, obviously, as well. No, while we wait. <laughs> well, we're ready. We're ready. Uh, just to let uh, all your members know and, and our members that may be watching here that we have uh, uh, secured the funding for an appeal. Uh, by the way, we won this this leg uh, with costs, so we won all our costs back on the case. Uh, nice. It was a costs order against them. Um, and uh, obviously, we will use that in the appeal and uh, continue, Fantastic. if need be. Well, congratulations. Well done. Well like, done. really, really heartfelt well done. High five. High five. <laughs> High five. <laughs> It's just, it's amazing. Yeah, well, look, it, it's been a lifelong journey for me. I, I started, you know, in activism, uh, trying to stop this kind of nonsense back in 96. And the first 
instance where they wanted to amend the Medicines Act to bring all these products in at that time. And a couple of years later, that specific amendment act was repealed. It was called the Sandra Act. Um, and it's it's been an ongoing struggle. Every couple of years, the regulator comes at you. Once they've been defeated, they they, re, they regroup, come up with a new angle and, and try yeah. all over again and have institutional knowledge. And the people that were in the previous fight have gone away. I'm not going away. I've been at this for 24 years now and I'm going to continue. It's so similar to the cannabis journey. It really is. And I think that's why we we support you guys so much as yes, well. We do. It's because it is yeah. a plant. We all Absolutely. just love our plant medicine. Mm -hmm. So, Anthony, do you think then now that CBD has been descheduled like that, how does it affect the licenses? Does it mean that licenses are, are invalid? Well, in terms of licenses for CBD... Uh, you don't need you don't need to register CBD as it currently stands within the the the, the, the framework that has been given of the less than twenty milligrams a day, less than six hundred milligrams per month. So no business less than license. 20, THC, etc. Um, but it's sitting within the complementary medicines uh, uh, category D. Um, but now category D has to be been declared unlawful. So it's very you know, the SARP has a year to fix it, and, and the judge technically has, you know, said that the SARP could continue for a year. That's something that is probably going to be put up on cross appeal. I don't think that you can say something is illegal. It's like uh, basically telling, a, 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 saying bank robbery is is now illegal, but we're suspending it for 12 months. You can continue to rob banks, <laughs> and yeah. then after 12 months, you, you, you'll be free to go. You know, so, um, yeah, so, but, but look, the, the whole regulatory scheme for complementary medicines has now been put on quicksand. So whatever they try to build on this now, it, is, is, it has to fall at the end of the day. Yeah, that's good news. Yeah. Yeah, well, we completely support you, like, forever. So, so you'll keep us updated going forward. And, and likewise. <laughs> Honestly, and likewise. Um, for someone like myself who works with a lot of natural medicines and uh, complement complementary medicines, as you call it, um, thank you very much for your hard work. Uh, there would have been a lot of implications yeah. if, if it didn't go through. Yeah. Uh, my job wouldn't have been the same tomorrow, basically. So do you think we will see a difference on the shelves now? Or will there be a bigger variety? Will the prices change or the quality? Mm. Well, a medicine is still a medicine is a medicine according to the Section 1 of the Medicines Act. That hasn't been challenged at all. Um, so, essentially, if, if, you know, companies are going to have to strip any kind of medical claims of their products going forward to stay compliant. Uh, yeah. um, and that's one, of, that's one of the sacrifices that will be, have to be made. Um, but obviously, you know, if, if, you, if you're into education and educating the public, uh, you can obviously get around these things. Yeah. I think people that use, um, for example, say skeletium. I drink skeletium tea because yeah. I know it calms me down. And that's why I drink it. So it's not an uninformed purchase. I, I knew before I went to the health shop mm. that I want CBD tea, uh, uh, skeletium tea. And, and that's what I asked for. You know, uh, People that buy uh, these products are generally informed. Yes, mm. yes. Well, that's the thing, you see. So... You know, most most people who go looking for natural products have read about them on the internet, heard about it from friends, um, or read books, watched movies, whatever it may be. The, you know, we've got a huge uh, interconnected world out there, and you can't they can't block this information. The Constitution guarantees the freedom of passing on information and the sharing of scientific ideas. So you know, they they can't get away get away from public education about these substances and people can find these substances now when they want them and access them and use them without a doctor's prescription or worse without not being available unless registered with a, 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 a medicines regulator because that pushes up the price because the compliance costs are so high and the consumer would have been the loser in this instance because the tens of millions of rands that companies would have to spend to become compliant um, would have to be passed on to the consumer. And that would have made these types of substances inaccessible to the public uh, and to a vast uh, 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 amount of people. 
So this, this judgment allows people to continue to access these substances freely. Nice. As per their choice and their body and their right. <coughs> Anthony, oh. thank you very much uh, for joining us on tonight's show. Tell me, where can we find out more about TNHA and your... Welcome back, guys. Sorry, we had a little bump there. Uh, Anthony, you were telling us where we could find out more about TNHA and your work. Yeah, anybody can find us on the web on uh, tnha.co.za. Very, very simple. Great. And uh, TNHA is Traditional and Natural Health Alliance. Uh, Anthony, you guys are also affiliates of Fields of Green for All. Thank you for that. And uh, you said that you'll be publishing a blog post with details about this judgment in the in the coming days, right? Uh, that's correct. So people can go there and find out what it, how it impacts their businesses and their health going forward. All right. We'll keep an eye on your Facebook page. Thank you very much for being with us tonight, Anthony. It's been wonderful chatting to you. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Keep up the good work. Yeah, you, <laughs> too. you too. Thank, Thank you. you. Stay lit. All right. Cheers. Cheers, bro. I can't see anything yet. Um, yeah. Don't need to. Yeah. Worry. So there it looks. Go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Just checking, going through the, the, the chat on Facebook is quite interesting. I'd like to say welcome to the COP viewers. Yeah, there was it, a. It, it, I wish that they were just got reading through it. Um, I wish that there were more cops with an attitude like yours. Sure. What did he say? What did he, he say, though, he's, Joe? He's saying that um, think of the benefits for township. Um, Chango Tours, Pub Flesh, Um Kumbhoti, Buying and Making a Memory. I think we um, should invite him on the couch. No, here's yeah. the thing, like, look, personally you don't have a problem with the herd, as you say. Yeah. But if you turn a blind eye to all the abuse that, that colleagues themselves are, are causing on people, That's it. then are you... Don't you have a problem with it at the end of the day? Then you you're complicit. Then you actually are complicit. Don't so yeah, you need to maybe help us brainstorm uh, some uh, ways to get the police to change their ways, bro? Because we're really, really battling. Really, really of battling. Of course, you're a middleman. Because we get phone calls every day with arrests, and the police are just not stopping. Mm. And they steal from people, and they burn their plants, and they don't stop, and they lock people up still. Uh, I don't understand why. Because we're soft targets. So when I scream, no. fuck the police, and I do it fairly often, please don't take it personally, but I, I do mean in general, because I've yeah. always said okay. that is the good cops, the bad cops, people always saying good cops, bad cops, you know, you can't, you can't generalize. Well, yes, I can, because unless the good cops do something to yeah. stand up yeah. against the Where are the good cops? cops? Why don't they stand up and say something? My mind are complicit. No there are no good cops. Yeah. Where are they? No good Show them to well, me. Well, let's hear, because what Sean said there, he gave us a bit of a bio. He said he's been a cop for 17 years. Yeah. He's only ever made one cannabis arrest. He's never had a problem with people who use it. Mm. Although when people add other stuff to it, I'm not going to say what stuff. 
Don't. It's we not a gateway it drug. It's not. But alcohol is. You know, like you say, there's good, there's bad, but also things are so not binary out there when it comes to situations because you know i'm not i'm not going to criticize any cop because i wasn't first in line to go die for someone else so yeah. i'm not qualified yeah. to speak yeah, yeah, hey yeah, yeah. it's yeah. tough <laughs> it's tough guys remember please vote in this week's old poll have you ever washed your herb mm -hmm. yes no cis man no beats my head beard man please tag us on insta <laughs> your gram on instagram to win some kiff swag shh, shh. and like share subscribe all that stuff guys we're going to be moving on to a little bit of a shittle lit dan yep are you going to introduce us to what's going on here with this dab funny Grinko thing. pen? The blue box. Yo, the blue box. Blue box. Uh, I've put it there. Like ultra luno. <laughs> so guys, what we've got here is a Grinko Nova, but it looks like it's a Cookies collab. So it's a G-Pen. I think Snoop Dogg does G-Pen stuff. Now yeah. we're seeing Cookies G-Pen stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these G pens have got some serious collabs going out. It looks like, eh? Everyone's yeah, jumping on. They got, got, you know, they got the best piece. Um, there we go. Yeah, yeah. They have the best pen, the best hardware so far from what we've oh. seen. Yeah, so, you can see, that's also a G pen, the one that we looked at a few weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. Yeah, one. that was but, the dry herb one. This one's the one for um, concentrates. Oh, it's concentrates. So guys, if you want to go see what we said about the dry herb one two episodes ago, but this week we're doing a dab one, hey? Yeah. Mm. I'm still going to try the dry herb one. You're selling, but it's the cookies version. The cookies version. also sells the thin pen like this. Okay. It's a G pen like that. Yeah. But this is just, yeah, you see, it's all blue. The other one is... I cookies. love the This is the cookies blue. Cookies. This is the... Cookies. Have you ever known quite cookies? Yeah. This is, is their blue. It's a beautiful blue. The it mouthpiece really is. is different. Indigo gold will like it. Beautiful. And it's got like a very matte sleek. feel. Yeah, sleek. it feels very, really nice. Oh, I like it already. But there's, I mean, look at that out there. All the instructions. Oh, yeah, it's actually old. It's nice. Six. Six. Let's, I, it's a one G pen Nova battery. Five one, five ten thread. So it's just like any other thread. It's just like any other um, pen. But this is the G pen cookies cola. So uh, E pen for your straight up dabs though. Not for your e-liquids and that. I think it's meant to be for straight oh, up dabs. Sick. eh? So you can put dab it's in it. It's a magnet, eh? Yes. Yeah, I don't know if no. it's a magnet. No, no I don't no. know about a magnet. No, it just fits in tight. That was yeah. a nice, that's got O-rings, as you can see. Let me open that. Yeah, you go. Nice. Yeah, you can see. There you go. So it's got two O-rings on the top there. This looks like a loading, a loading handle of some kind. Like you scoop it up on your little handle there. Mm. And then you must drop it down into the chamber there. Or we'll just put it in straight on. So ceramic, eh? Yeah, because I think that was going to then. You just drop that straight onto there. Ooh. Push that on. This seems to be. Yeah, that's just your head. Yeah, so that's the specific battery. headpiece. Oh, sick. Yeah, 510. 510. Mm. And micro USB charge, eh, dude? And then. Micro USB charger. Oh, and it's a five button start. All the same shit. All the same things. Very yeah, sleek, yeah. very nice and smooth. Mm. It feels like really nice in my hand. I like the blue. Mm. It feels I love nice. That blue. Sick, mm. I absolutely love that. The matte finish that. is the shit. So, are we going to load it? Fucking thing. Yeah, yes, are we going to load it with Jules' marmalade? Can we? We can do that. We're going to smash this thing, Oaks. Oh, melt it. I want to say such words that'll get us banned again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's smoke it while it's still charging. Yeah, I see Al had the same sentiment on the chat. You're saying good to see a cop on the chat, eh? Yes, it is. So let's just RTFM before we do break it. Eh? Yeah. So what we're doing here, eh? I, I read the instructions. Eh? You can load it, and then it's five clicks to turn it on. You use this thing as a loader, right? Just let's go. Let's, let's try, dude. Okay. I think that's your tool, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I need this. You need that. I tried that the Durban boys dubby uh, there. Put it down there. It looks so dope. I hope it's shit. I hope it's... I mean, I hope it's shit. I yeah, hope it's shit. I hope it's lit. It's lit. I hope yeah. it's lit, not shit. I'm so no grilled, shit. Oaks. <laughs> I hope it's no shit. The littiest, shittiest. This is great. It is great, eh, Shal? <sighs> so you're just loading... You're sort of preloading the tool there, hey, Dan? Yeah. But are you gonna Are you going to smush it, bro? Don't be shy. Let's... Well, Let's trying, load I'm the thing, it out, it out there. There's not that much in there. There's there's a, a, mix. No, wait, I want to take this off. There's plenty inside here. No, no, it's just the angle of the dangle. Mm. The the and there's a herb cousin that we tried last week that everyone kind of liked, eh? 
Yeah, this thing was dope. I really enjoyed this. Oh, I love the magnet. Magnet's just shit. Sleek. Yeah. And it vibrates and shit like when it's ready. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's gangster. Let's see. Yeah. We're gonna get in this. Yeah, there we Stop. go. There we go. Oh, this is gonna be satisfying, eh? Yo, damn. Oh, it's like scraping really that nice. last bit of peanut butter oh, out the jar. Of With your tongue. Mm. <laughs> now we're talking. Yeah. Yum, okay, yum. Load it up, batter. Yeah. Let's stack it, man. Well, we're gonna put it to the test. Cookies yeah, and OG, let's see, if it, if, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Because I see this isn't an expensive thing. I think this retails for like five, six hundred bucks ish, <laughs> maybe a little more. Well, not that's bad. not bad. Not bad at all. And I think it's what gets you into the game in terms of dad pens, you know? I think it's cool because uh, you smoke shit like this in Samoa. Because it's the only thing you can get in there. And it was worth it, eh? Okay. And what so, does the chamber look like? Is it ceramic inside that chamber yeah, where it's like going it's in? It's got like a... It looks ceramic. It's got like a... Uh, mm -hmm. It's like one of those ceramic stones yeah. on the bottom there. And then it's got a nice... Yeah, it's got a little ceramic bucket. Yo, oh, it looks dope. And that thing's so easy to take yeah. out and yeah, clean. Let's smoke it. Yeah, <laughs> You've seen it now. Thank you. Yeah. Smoke it down. Okay. Smoke it. Oh, Wormslung's like, so five to turn it on. And then five to turn it on and three to change gears. It's got three heat settings and it's, yeah, you change gears by pressing the button three times. So green. It goes red, yeah. green, blue and red. That's yeah. what red. this one does. Yeah. Alright. Blue. So blue must be the coolest, oh, yeah. green is the middle. So cool, yeah. you just want, just yeah, yeah. go for it. You can you can oh, wait, yeah. give it a second and then just slowly go for it, or they say you can hold the yes, button in and it'll it'll go red line for in the 10 comments seconds. Here, Brian says, hook a brother up, where does a brother find... Lots of flavor. Yeah. Mm, lots and lots of flavor. Is that on high, medium, or low? Low. I only do low. Good, good. Dabs must only be done low. Yeah, I've been wondering if I should start stocking these low things, well. man. Any of them, all of them low. Because you guys must also start we stock the like normal Novas like yeah, We stock the normal Novas and uh, yeah. other GPs as well mm. but not Yeah, I know Brad's place as well <coughs> yeah, from Kev's yeah. I keep feeling like I should be repping for this Oak man Coming to you Oaks and, and selling the shit and pushing it on the Oaks We're on We're on Ah, yeah. oh, cool man <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, it was, you know, it's just like talking shit man Yeah, 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 yeah Okay, so, so we're gonna go back to filling it up So guys, we got interrupted there again But we're trying out the G Pen Nova the cookies edition. Damn pen. So, we'll just hit it. Let's have a look inside. It is delicious. It, the, the, the terpenes come through. Oh yeah, it's still good. Like it's crazy. Still got some dabs on you. It's got the, it's all melted down and there's still some. Let's hit this. Yeah, it drops into like a little One, bucket. Two, little ceramic yeah, bucket. let's go to green now. Okay. So it's nice and easy to load. It's really slick. It's nice and weighted. I like it's, it. And I love the, what yeah. you were saying, the feel the of it. The softness of it is like that, those pens you used to buy at school yeah. that had that yeah. soft feeling. Mm. Good mm. You can write, you know, you feel like you can write with this thing. And also the weightedness mm. is cool. But that's, I guess, with any thing. You don't want it too light. Otherwise it feels cheap. You're yeah. saying it's like your Stadler made a pen. It feels solid. <laughs> yes, if Stadler made a pen. But not excessive, you know. It's, it's, it's there. If it retails for cheap, then, you know, it's actually quite a bargain. Mm. 
<laughs> Even if you're gonna abuse it, I'm gonna take some of this. <laughs> so this is on green, that's medium. <coughs> I love that reaction. But Dan's <laughs> advice is to always use the low setting, <laughs> only use the blue for vaping. And I, I kind of agree with him because mm. I, I vape a lot. Yeah. And I don't yeah, dial the most out of it. I don't dial my silver surfer higher than two o'clock. Keep it low, so you got you know, keep those yeah. turps as low and slow. As, yeah, yeah, right as at best as what they were. Sorry, it's like as original so they're not a, yeah. 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 adjusted yeah. from the heat. Taste. But, but yeah. at the no, end of the session when there's almost no vape left. So you don't turn it up for a minute. Yeah, well at the end of course just to get the last bit, but to enjoy your sorry, carry on. The lower the temperature the better the flavour. Yes, and if you when you grow a plant and you you look at this plant growing and you smell it every day and you get involved with it, you don't Thank you don't you see the grind, THC, yeah. uh, but you smell the, 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 the smell. Terpenes, yes. And you, you can almost, those terpenes, you would love to taste them. So, mm -hmm. if you're going to smoke assist anything, so these vapes have now given us the ability to vape at a low temperature. So, these herbal vapes and these concentrate vapes <coughs> are very special. That's they yeah. give you that opportunity to really enjoy the terpene profile of a plant Technology or whatever it is that you've extracted mm -hmm. off of. Yeah. To its absolute best. A joint doesn't help you as much because it goes super hot. Yeah. Yeah. Bongs yeah. are you get very high very no. quickly. Yeah. A bong is an absolute no yeah. for any kind of testing of flavor. I find with vaping yeah. that uh, if I want to get really high, because I also smoke now and then and I have bongs during the day sometimes. So if I want to get high in the evening before I go to sleep to, to make me sleep, okay. then you get more of a body high from vaping. But you need to vape more than you smoke, you know, especially if you are a smoker as well. <laughs> Because then you need to vape more because vaping is not as potent as smoking. It's a satisfying you know, lungs. It gives me a like body, that, a body yeah. high, so yeah, I yeah. sleep well. So that's yeah. why at the end, if you're smoking that, you put it on like a really hot heat at the end and get a good cough out of it. Because yeah. generally, you smoke, some people are so used to coughing, so they'll smoke, 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 uh, and not cough. Yeah, a little It'll bit like, of coughing is good, it loosens the phlegm and whatever. Yeah, it gets it, yeah. you know, gets your blood going a little bit. So let's do the math quick. We loaded that dab there, mm -hmm. and we got maybe... One, Seven, two, ten, three, puffs. four, five, no, five, mm. ten, twelve. Because we just emptied it, eh? Yeah. So they're having to restack it now to try it backstage. Oh, please. So yeah. we got a, we got a few puffs out of the day, eh? Oh yeah, that was that was ten, yeah, ten to twelve good hits out of that thing. If you packed this for yourself and had this for the evening, you could go to a restaurant and have a couple hits of this mm. and be mm. sorted. No you, one you, would know. You, and you can't smell it. And that's now we've jacked it up to medium, so it's burning yeah. a bit more. You can't smell it in public, and it looks like any just other put the bag. camera back on there. And if we open it up here, let's see. Let's see what it looks like open now, yeah. Um, because if you go low temp the whole night on your own with this thing, it's gonna be, it's gonna last a bit longer, I reckon. And let's see, is it a messy affair now? Oh. Does it screw out or pop out? Pop it's out. Like, it's, it just pulls out. Pop out. And it's actually very... It's tight, eh? Clean. Tight like that. Oh, there's still more. Joe Exotic there. Tiger. There's still more. You could heat this thing up. You've got now to hot. So now let's see well, what Well, let's, let's turn it on without the thingy. Let's see it, it, let's see it actually smoke there. Take the, if you can, take the cap off and will it turn on? It'll turn on, yes. Let's see, if it'll, let's see how much still comes out. But there's no... Yeah, but the, the, the head is not inside there, so there's no heat. So it's got like a safety mode or something. Yeah, the, the head's got the heat. That's okay. No, no, the heat is coming from this, but there's oh, nothing in there to burn it. it. Basically, as it heats, it drips off of the head. Oh. So let's put this on now, hot. Max it out. There we go, now let's try hot. Anything left in the tank, Dan? All gas, no brakes. Yeah, no. Okay, we're gonna have to lock and load it, Oaks. Mm, mm, mm. Take it to its limit. Okay, let's yeah, max out. But let's. The back, eh? okay. So we're being very yeah. decadent with Jules's dab here yeah, because this is special. Yeah. This marmalade is special, guys. I don't dab, and I, ri I even risked the cooties, and I hit that thing with all of you, and that was delicious. Mm. But can we use a lot of this other dab and smush the fuck out of it and see what happens? Well, we're yeah. loading it with the last of scrapings. We're of still going to do Jules's, eh? That's the best flavor I've yeah. ever in my ever. I wonder flavor. if we can load diamonds into this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, let's put yeah. stuff in it, man. Okay, yeah, so let's put this on here. <laughs> and just pour diamonds in it. Use the use the pen to scoot diamonds up. <laughs> the issue is again when it gets to the batteries. That can last. They say it's like a 300 or whatever milliamp. 
So it's going to last as long as it lasts. But in my experience, these things you replace every year or so anyway. If you, you yeah. usually lose it before you have to replace and the battery. Yeah. Yes, replace, generally. Yeah. Do you have to replace yeah. the coil or anything like that? No. I would imagine not. But no. if you do, bro, it wouldn't be the worth the effort. It would be from serious abuse. Then yeah, the coil should like be that. good metal. I mean, this thing's hot already as it is. Yeah. It's like it's quite no, warm. The mouthpiece was hot. Yes, Dan. But yeah, that's it's good. Full, full, full. More, right. man. God, we just squish some off, in the bro. thing. No, into the good, man. Guys, I, I had a UCAN yeah. pen for a while. Yes. It yeah, was very good, similar, good. but a bit bigger. But my complaint with the UCAN pen was that the element was too close to where you put your mouth. So it was often too hot and it made you cough very easily. Uh, this one seems to be a bit more complex. So the design. Yeah. 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 How much yeah. dab do you think is on there, though, Dan? Like 0. 0.1 of a gram? Yeah. 0. 0.2? 0. Yeah. 0. 0. 0.1, hey? It's not much. It's, it's more for the flavor yeah, and the fact that you're actually doing it in it's like three big public dabbies. and no one can tell. Jesus, doesn't even <laughs> want to go in the tube. Because yeah, we're just... <laughs> Okay. I don't want to say don't anything. Don't overload it. Don't like that. Yeah. But we have to max it out because we have to see what the limits so are. So we go hot on the nose. Let's go hot. No, let them have a taste first. Let them have a taste. No, no, no. Do you want to try? Go for it. Go for it. Our techs are amazing and they deserve the rewards of being able to try this stuff with us. Okay. Okay. Dan's going deep, eh? Hey? Hmm? Like, I saw it makes clouds. Off, you have to pull it slow clouds, though, Dan. Really? You have to, for these <coughs> things, I've noticed with vape pens, particularly herbs and Dan. Yeah, you've got to have patience. It's not a joint. You don't go puff. Yeah. Is yeah. that yeah. a dog? Slow drag. Yeah, dog farts, bro. Dude. Make me the Sell it. Oh, she's done. Oh, she's done. 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 She's Maximum. Yeah, check that red button's glowing. Oh, yeah. so it's oh, like it's a flashing, stop sign. Even with the cards, it's <laughs> a time's out in ten seconds. I'm getting second hand coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Dan's going red. Now well, Joe's too scared to try. Yeah, I've got <laughs> makeup on. I don't want to cry and cough. <laughs> I'll try it for you. So does it go to be? Yeah, okay, just take cool. a little one. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the red is too hot then. <laughs> it's like I got Dan's bow back. Blue is the lowest. Blue's the best. Ooh, so, no. so slow melt. Blue went down, but I think the red chamber lasts the longest. <laughs> yeah. 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 And it's no. two PS fuck on Ooh. blue. Yeah, yeah. It will be. There's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yeah. oh, it's got a click on it. <laughs> it's on height at the moment. No. <coughs> okay. <coughs> I vote all the way as fuck. Lit as fuck. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Johnny, we have a winner. <laughs> oh, yes. Same for the other one. This one is also I great. I love the look Double of it. Death, I love Ruth. the feel of it. I love how easy it is to load and to use and to charge oh, and everything. Jeez. That's got some kick. That has got some real kick. That is beautiful. I'm gonna get me one actually. That the crew is falling really nice. I down on the floor day. almost. <laughs> <laughs> Double tap red. You've got a count sesh mode on every right? setting. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can, that's what we just said. You can max it. Yeah, <laughs> well it gives you a fucking... <coughs> it's got like turbo mode, you know. Yeah. <coughs> it's it's lacquer. Oh. I like it, I want one. Traditionally, re rigs are cool one. and shit, mm. but if you really want to get yeah. the maximum taste profile and like high out of your weed at the perfect burn. <laughs> That's the one. Does it come in other colors or is it just the... No, the, it'll the only be this color. So, uh, the, the G-Pen range comes in mostly black and so on, but yeah. they do lots of collabs and colors. Yeah. So this is just one of their additions. I imagine there's this product in many colors. Like okay. There's the Snoop one and this one and then this one. Okay. It's just... So far, Grenko has been really pulling up their socks. It feels like it's the most bong for your buck. It yeah. really is. Hey, it really is. Wow. Made in China. <clears throat> Isn't it all for India, Corona. Designed in LA. Designed <laughs> up. In LA, New York. Is it sitting there, the little bucky? Yeah, it's it's American made in China, like everything. Hey. I think it's it's got a three point two volts. All the way number three point six, four point one volts. Those are the Progressive different button. working the button. Yeah. It's got what three hundred fifty milliamp hours. Shoot. Watts per hour, one point three watts per hour. 
Hold it, bro. Ah, oh, this thing's cool. Yeah. Colors? Definitely. Hmm? How many colors? Just this well, blue. Well, no, it's just this blue. This, this is the cookies dish, brand. Cookies is just blue. Mm. So I love it. So, so they delicious. Also do, they also do mm. a dip and dab one. Okay. That you can kind of like as a straw. Oh. Uh, it's got a little. You, you dip it right off the paper or, okay, or your bowl. Okay. Okay. You smoke it right off. Well, I'll need that. Yeah, yeah. But will you push the? Yes. Now I want one of those. I I definitely want one of those. That's how much I like it. Very fancy. Mm. Is there anything left in it though? I see it's pulling a bit. Oh yeah. no, it's still going. Yeah, yeah, it's there, yeah. bro. Max it out now, bro, because I check you're cruising in blue mode. Yeah, I know you got the lungs, Dale. <laughs> so, Dan, now that you can talk again. Yes. Lit. Lit. As fuck. Lit F, bro. Yeah, yeah. it is. I see <laughs> Joe's lit F. Lit F. All the way F. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this thing's lit as fuck, yeah. really. Like, it's one of the So is its cousin, ever. you already <laughs> reviewed. Yeah. <laughs> There's still I mean, a fucking really dab left on you. Yeah, look at this. Oh, that thing's that thing is lit. good as fuck. That one there with the herb was oh, also dope as fuck because no, it gives dude, such good flavor. So it's called the G pen. The way the mouthpiece yeah. works, the way the mouthpiece feels. The Grenko and the G pen, they're really good. Listen with the box, they're yeah. 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 I just prefer yes. that round mouthpiece towards like a cart, thin, flat mouthpiece. I like that round one. Mm. Mm. Very, very nice. Really, really it's nice. Open yes, well, if you open it up, it, there is yeah, it's still fucking hot tons though. Tons yeah. of dab in there. See, the thing is, we're sashing it out hard with all of us at the moment. Double tap yeah. Yeah. Whereas I think it's meant to double tap it. Just double tap it. Take that whole thing. thing just yeah. Just to know, you know? This is it's hot though. All of them are making blow torch you, yeah. There's yeah. tons of dab still on there. Tons. There's at least like. Book machine. Yeah, let's leave this to cool down and then we can try it again. And let yeah. me just show people how big it That's is. That's the dash, the yes. black one. <clears throat> so, just to show people how big they are, they're like... Oh, no. <laughs> just did it. Run! Nice one, Oaks. That's a big big. Right? That's yes. the big big. It's a green thumb hydroponics big. Wow, there's a joint. That it's the same size as the yeah, joint. Yeah, there we go. I'll it's a joint. Drinks in my hand, yeah. <coughs> well, not even, it's, it's a nib of a joint, but yeah. let's just go with that for now. Slick. There's so urban on it. Now you can see like how much yeah. a dab is still either left. We'll say it now. You need either so one. one. And then Both check it out. We loaded that thing up, and now we've had some huge hits. We've been like seshing the madness out of that, and look at it. It's still going, man. So you can take that to the party and it'll last you a while, eh? Dude, yeah. I I need one of those in my life. Or when you're bored in traffic. How much you say they are? Um, should we just go check? We can search, but I think they're about six, seven hundred bucks locally. I know they're forty-five dollars US. Okay. The Gringo Science. Yeah. No, but get LXE for wax and oil. Price available to most vendors. Yeah. The but it's not expensive, that's it's the really. Ones. Yeah, that's a normal black one. Different mouthpiece. They're no, very affordable, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a different thing that's altogether. Different yeah. you know. But nice, guys. Yeah, so, yeah. Dale, you were saying something? <laughs> if it came with like a, a tool yeah. and a little dab uh, container. But it. To match. <laughs> it would be Kiff. Mm. Those fancy ones. But a lot of people have got all their own gear now, bro. Yeah. But I bet there is a deluxe option out there. And you can buy gear separately. I mean, all these little dab tools. I bought two dab tools today. Um, what was the shop called? Yes. Heiko. <laughs> no, Heiko. Oh, I bought something from the Heiko today as well. I got myself a new Dabrug lighter, you see. And, and now I need one of these as well. Yes, I need one of these. Yeah. A big thank you to all of those of you who do support the Heiko <laughs> and buy the Raws and the shit off us. Oops, did I name um, them? Sorry. Your guys' response has been so good to these things that I, I honestly, for those of you asking, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. I'm going to yes. get some. Get yes. these things. I'm going to get these yes. things for you, Oaks. I don't usually do it, but these have been so good. Even I am te never tempted to give a lit as fuck. I think it's lit as fuck. I love, yeah. I love that it's less is more. <laughs> I love that the tool is the thing. Yes. Yeah. I, have, I had the primitive version of that, the UCAN, which is Chinese, and then you can't adjust the temperature and it made me cough a lot. This one doesn't. Yeah. Um, I love the temperature. I mean, you, there you go. You, if, you can, if you can buy these separate heads, then you've also sorted. Because then you can just yeah. keep a couple of these stored up in a yeah, little like, case, thing, yeah. zip it open, pull yeah. it out, re mm. change of the, the head cartridge, sorted. What you need is you need like six of them. Yes. Like, you know those pins you used to keep in your pocket? <laughs> <laughs> just so. Yeah. Universal mount. 
So if your buddy buddy's got a different cart and you want to taste his cart, yeah, you can just swap. swap it, yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're saying it is a universal. So the battery is a five ten thread, okay. which means yeah. it's the same as everything else. Okay. Same as every other one. But the thing is, that probably what they have figured out <clears throat> and what they have is a very good controlled battery. Definitely, it's con yeah. it's, it's much better technology that they've found that can control it to a much lower tech because generally you get these carts or these coils and coils or whatever the hell they call them and you <clears throat> yes. the moment you press that button it goes hot and it's just not Ridiculous a nice it's not a nice yeah. smoke yes. this yeah. went very low very very now, low and it was all good coils need to be replaced am i right what on yeah. this would need to be replaced so uh, there's terms we have the, the generic term for all of this is <coughs> atomizer mm -hmm. what these things are doing but the old ones used to be those coil ones which are cuck yes. and then they had, they had the ceramic in so it looks like it's some sort of oven mm. that it's baking in um, yeah. if there was anything to be replaced i'd just throw it away I don't think At it's the sort cost, of thing yeah. that's worth. No, they sell the parts there as well. Okay. Do they? Uh, no. Okay, and you can do whatever. I with suppose it. you wow. just dip an earbud in some mm. alcohol and ceramic squish quartz. it around. It's a ceramic yeah. quartz. Yeah. One. So no, I don't know if constant, constant like stuff like alcohol is good for it. Mm. I just, uh, I'm just thinking for cleaning. Just, just, just take the mouthpiece off and burn it clean. Mm. Yes, so, is that true? my experience yeah. with them is take the mouthpiece off if you can. If you have to, you can leave it on if it's got a safety, but take the mouthpiece off and put it on maximum a couple of times. Yeah. Just like you do with a, a banger, and it just burns clean. Burns and then if you want then to, you, you can, can try and wipe the, the carbon out yeah. that's left there. But you want to burn as much out okay. before, before <laughs> it becomes syrup. And when it's burned clean and you put fresh dab on, don't take the first drag, just burn it a little bit first, yes. otherwise you get that ash. Season it, season, season it, season it. Take care of the Season it. Well, yeah. do you know what? I didn't even, care of you. Yeah. I, didn't even, I wish there was a, sh a, a lit FF. You know, like a through the stratosphere thing, because in all all the time that I've experienced these, this is the first time that one was came out of the box and didn't yeah, taste like they're getting it right now. Didn't it taste took a while, eh? Funky. Mm. It was no funky. Yeah, the yeah, the so early vapes that came out weren't always that good. It tasted amazing. Yeah, amazing. That first hit, that was the first hit yeah. off of this. It was clean, full of full of terpenes. Mm. It was amazing. Yeah. Verdict. Yeah, I love this fuck. Okay. Yeah, this is the one. <coughs> Definitely, the one. this is the one. Yeah. Good product. Get yeah. yourself yeah. one of these pens if you want to smoke concentrates. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, don't fuck around. Yeah. Mm. I mean, that's so affordable. 600 bucks and you can get yourself one of these and you can get yourself some concentrates and you can get into the game. It's yeah. really that easy. Yeah. No blow yeah. torches, no bulky glass rigs, no yeah. crack pipes, no Charge people looking at you. Yeah. While you're on the way somewhere. Charge, Charge it with your it. bloody power bank that you everyone yeah. lives with one in their pocket now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. bro. Smoke it while you're charging. See, exactly. And then crank the Crank the amps. Come on! You literally yeah, just yeah. pop into one of the many shops that now does rosin pressing for you so that you just yes. take your weed, get it pressed into rosin, and there then you've go. got it ready. Yeah, is it? And a gram with dabs will last you so long. Yeah. I mean, you, everyone's up, oh, it's like 450. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to say, when you got the pen, you oh, no. load it. <laughs> but not, but not more than if you had a rig. Come on, you won't smoke oh, more yeah. than if you had a rig. No, we're going to be, we're going to be diving. It builds your tolerance. Yeah, I would is, imagine yes. it builds your tolerance quite quickly. Guys, we're going to have to kick the dogs out. Someone's going to have to call the SBCA on us the way. We're going to have to kick these dogs out. The one snoring is Vinny. That's, that's Vinny the lips. Right. Right this there, little Jack Russell is doing something yeah. foul. The olipotamus, no, if we light something, we'll go boom, bro. It's like we could make dabs out of what's coming out of this Yo. dog, bro. Hydrocarbons. Let's smoke some weed to get rid of the snow. <laughs> So guys, uh, before we get yes. on to this week's yes. FGA update and uh, Remembering Jules campaign, please remember to vote in the Zoll poll. Have you ever washed your buds? Yes? No? Sis, man! <laughs> uh, hashtag Hotbox Show on all the socials and tag us on Insta your gram <clears throat> to possibly win, uh, win some kiss shit. I am so mad. Well, we know what Alex is voting. The Alex is voting yeah. I'm also I'm getting gassed here. I'm getting <laughs> gassed here. The yeah. gas, not the weed. I could say things that would get us struck down again, so no, I'm no, not going to. <laughs> Try to get rid of it, though. Sometimes you do this and it gets rid of it. No, light a match. This dog's going to explode if you guys get too close. Yeah, should I light this dog? No, kick it off. Uh, so, guys, up, in, this so week's, uh, in this week's FGA update, uh, remembering Jules and the Cannabis Can Help South Africa campaign. So the go GoFundMe is still going. I think it's going to be an, in an indefinite thing until it hits its goal. Mm. And there have been a lot of updates from Fields of Green on it, showing what's been done with the cash and that it's real. It's not some like weird Kickstarter thing, hey? <laughs> so guys, please remember, if you've got a buck in your pocket, go make a donation. There were a couple of donations this week. A big thank you to uh, Mark Seath. 
wake up. Uh, also to Lucas Hurt, to Kieran Richards, and to Fadil Hanovil. Uh, Bernard for you as well. Thank you, Gary, very much, guys, for those latest donations. Um, yeah, guys, thank. I don't know what more to say. We couldn't do this without your support. Yeah. Uh, Fields of Green is still very real. As we see with TNHA, there's a, a fight to be had, and the trial of the plant is still looking very real because... Mm -hmm. Nothing's kind of happened, but yeah, there's that bull and oh. no, tomorrow. The only way you can make anything happen is by going to court, as Anthony also not, yeah. you know, has proven again. Tomorrow we're publishing Fields of Green's uh, official commentary on the bull, because I see uh, um, there's a few other official commentaries out. There's one from Vitz and there's one mm -hmm. from um, uh, I think uh, the uh, one of the drug uh, reform. Organizations in the country wrote okay. a big one with Dr. Keith Scott. Okay. Mm. So, guys, there's a lot going on. You can go see lots of links at Fields Green for all. Uh, the day of coming closes tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow is the tomorrow's last day. day. That's the day closes. <coughs> get on it now. It's not coming. So, so if you, you haven't commented, please go comment yeah. and mention us because we've got our manifesto, which is mm. what the bull should look like. Because let's face it, guys, Mary Jane's not there like your mommy saying, hey, do your homework. You got a test tomorrow. Mm -hmm. This is the only time you've had to do homework yeah. for Mary Jane. It's yeah. not hard, guys. It's Come on, you don't even need to get in your car. It'll cost you 56k of data. Do it on the net. Uh, also, uh, please remember to go do the survey. This is something that should be done. I, I was slack. I only did it this week. Damn it. But I did it. Mm -hmm. But you did no. it. Have you completed yeah. the yes. survey? I did. I did. Dope. It was fun. Yeah, it wasn't it was hard. Quick. It was easy. Mm. It's not big long words. It's not I hope everyone does it and the results pay off because that really survey is important. Yeah. We're going to take the results to the top of that survey. I'm not joking. My, my granny literally did it. Bro. Oh, no. your granny, uh, granny, uh, granny did it. Does your, mother, uh, your grandmother use cannabis medicine? Yeah. Fat dabs. No. <laughs> <laughs> does she need one a cheap day. Day. <laughs> One day. One, one day. day. Yo, guys, it's been she, such she fun. She drinks the tea, my Ogo drinks the tea. The mm. THC. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, guys, please remember, go check out Fields of Green for all the essential updates uh, for the latest from the Western Front. Uh, but I think it's time now to slow it down a bit. Let Dan take the reins while I get even more grilled and tell us a little bit about washing your buds. Washing your buds. Washing What's washing your buds? Why would you do it? Why should anyone care? Because the last year, I see it a lot. Yeah, I but hear it a lot. That I've never seen it before. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, opinions. Yeah, there's a lot of opinions <laughs> about it, but what? there's also there's truths about it, you know. Okay. Uh, where do we start? You, what is so it? So, would you need to wash indoor versus outdoor? Which is the best one to wash, and why are you washing it? Both. What are we washing? Well, not off? both. You have you would wash <coughs> the outdoor, and you would. <coughs> Maybe wash your indoor. Mm -hmm. So that's how that would start. But if we wash it off, dust, so insects. Yeah, exactly, there we go. So <coughs> if you're going indoor, you're going to be more than likely washing off powdery mildew if you happen to get some late in your harvest and it's really not that bad. You might want to just save a bit of the crop and you don't want to throw away all of this hard work. And seeing yeah. as powdery mildew isn't going to harm you, remember mm -hmm. that it isn't going to harm you, it's an irritant to your lungs. Okay. It's just an irritant and it is not, it's unsightly on the plant. It doesn't actually. Um, mm. poison you or infect your body at all it just is an irritant to the lungs so yes people that have asthma will really be affected by it but it doesn't mean that it's poisoned you it's not a toxin yeah. yeah so that could be the one thing that they wanted to do outdoors you generally would want to wash your buds if you've got plants growing without any kind of covering so no kind of shade net or no mm. kind of tunneling or anything like that because you've got dust you've got bugs you've got all sorts of stuff that lands on your buds Pollution from the street cars, like exhaust yeah, fumes, I mean, maybe and a bit of carbon, you know. But the, you know, you'd be surprised if you actually go and wash outdoor buds. What kind of dirt comes off of those buds? Smoke a little insect poop. Yeah. And how well, do you I mean, wash you see, it? Well, you're gonna get guys are gonna be like, well, man, you know, we just keep it all natural. You know? yeah. Don't panic. Don't it's panic. Yeah, it's just yeah. a bit of bugs and poop, man. Yeah, we won't charge which, you extra. Which at the end of the day, it is exactly yeah, it's so good for the immune system. Do people yeah. want to <laughs> wash <laughs> the outdoor buds? <laughs> uh, it's not. It's it's not really. Do I say, do people want to? Yes, they want to, but is it worth it? And Depends on what you do with the bud. If it's for sale and you want to make it presentable and be like the best it can be, yes, you would. You take the most respect, you know. But now, wouldn't Treat washing it wash the trichomes off, <laughs> making it less presentable? That comes down to your method. Okay, so what do we do? Do we chuck it in the washing machine? So this is, a, this is Dad <laughs> doing a low-key homo ad for us. Homo. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. 
So, How do we do this? Well, what it is generally is you just take two or three buckets of water from varying temperatures. Nothing that's too hot and nothing that's too cold. Because too hot is going to burn your trichomes, or not burn your trichomes, sorry. It's going to evaporate your, your terpenes off. Mm -hmm. And too cold is going to make your trichromes potentially freeze off and knock off. So, so room temperature to lukewarm depending Yeah, exactly. On. Room okay. temperature to lukewarm, but you go a little bit cold on the one bucket, a bit of warm on the other one, and then normal tap water on the other. Mm -hmm. And you use various things. There's people that use different products. So you three buckets. Three buckets. You have three separate buckets of varying temperatures. The one will have lemon juice, the one will have uh, hydrogen peroxide, and the other one can have bicarb, for instance. And those three things are doing different things to neutralize certain pHs and doing certain things to stop certain things happening in the plant and also washing off certain stuff. So it's a lot of, you can go online, Jorge Cervantes, have you heard of Cervantes? Yeah. The, the, the OG. Once or twice. The OG. He's yeah. got a video that he shows you how to wash plants in a bucket with some... I you just like grab your branch and yeah, you, you just dunk it, it in, in there, you know, yeah. from what, you, what I've seen you do. Well, I've seen people <coughs> doing it and you just dunk it in the, in the bucket. Dunk it in the next one, dunk it in the next one, take and it just out, like shake that. it off. You don't like soak it. No, you just give it a good shaking inside. You're, trying, you're it. trying to basically wash off what's inside and agitate it enough to make something come off of it without doing physical agitation. Because if you start getting in there with your hands, you're going to obviously take trichomes off and it's going to be good. So the water won't do anything. Wash the plant, wash it again, wash it again, or tell me how many buckets you want. I mean, if you look online, and I just typed in bud washing and I went to the images, <clears throat> I get three different buckets. The first bucket with baking soda, so bicarb, it's anti-mold. No, it's an anti-mold, okay. so it's going to neutralize it and it's going to kill any mold that you have on your plant. So if you do have powdery mildew, it's going to kill it immediately. Um, it'll still be there, but it's not now living. <coughs> the next bucket would be lemon juice and peroxide, where it's going to have its antimicrobial and antiseptic <coughs> properties. So again, you're just killing off what was there and you're just really trying to make it safe. And then the third bucket would be to wash off everything that you've just put onto okay. it to clean it off. So it's like just a side clean straight water. Final wash, just clean water, exactly. Oh, and then, then you take it off of that, out of that section, you hang it in front of a fan or whatever and get the excess moisture off. Because you must remember, you know, don't want to just now hang that bud up. Soaking wet. Soaking wet in your room that's drying your plants in because yeah. you literally are going to destroy everything. So he hangs it in front of a fan. Yes, he puts it in front of a fan. Right in front. Yeah, literally. Yes. I've seen you put it, you just shake anymore. it in front of a fan and literally like you see the water droplets fall like off. 90 degrees. And with the water droplets falling off, once mm. it's done, that's fine. Then you're yeah. fine. You don't, just don't want to have that excess again. water. Yeah. It's dry essentially because the plant is still wet inside and that little bit of moisture that's on the surface is so maybe it was a bit of. Yeah, that's in the rain. Yeah, you just don't want those big drops of water. And then you just go and do your normal do drying technique, and literally it's that, it's not like that. Out, it'll be fine. Thing. Okay. Yeah, this is a good video. This is the only guy I've seen. And he shows you also how it floats on the water after the second wash. I've seen guys that have yeah. done bad, they, they did a bad harvest, it was really bad, and they needed to wash it for their own sakes, because they were like, like, we're flakes. not using it. Yeah. And at the top of the bucket, you see this like yeah. white skim on the yeah. top. Sure. What about, what about, um... Washing a live plant, basically a folio spray, but with those, those same dunk. ingredients. Yeah. Yeah. It's called a dunk. It's dunk. And guys do it. You make a yeah. contraption that holds all your soil in the pot, clamp it all together, make a big bucket, and dunk the whole dunk. plant inside the thing. So dunk. People do it, but you and that guys do it with big plants, monster plants. It's a effort. It's a serious effort. Rather do that when you when it's smaller, or just yeah. do proper yeah. folio sprays. If you do your folio sprays yeah. properly, you don't have to do a dunk. Fogers, yeah. But washing the plants is just, um, you know, it's it's a it's a compromise. It's an option. No, it's an option. It's a compromise. It's a compromise. It's not an option. If you compromise. think you're gonna, you think to yourself, ah, oh, I can wash my bud at the end of this compromise. harvest, you've really fucked up yeah. already because you're lazy. It's a compromise. You're lazy, lazy, lazy. If it happens that you've now you've got medicine in the cupboard and you've got powdery mildew and now you need to have this medicine, you can't afford to lose it. You Lost wash it. that bud. Blast yeah. it. No. You wash blast it. Blast it rather. You think so? Yeah. Making oil. Blast it. Blast it. Man, if, you know, that's all. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Making oil, yes. Yeah. Of course you can. With the oil, you can, wash it. you can you wash I'd it wash first. Wash it with butane. <laughs> but the problem with that that being said double filter if you don't wash the bud prior to doing an extraction and it has powdery mildew on it, what are you doing? You're concentrating your you're concentrating the spores and it's proven that if you extract 
powdery mildew or mildew so spores. I say double filter. It it's still there. It's a one. It's less than a micron. It's actually a it's micron fine. small. Double the, 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 the powdery mildew. Double spores. filter. My card. My Dude, card. what filter. you have to do is you have to this do a rat screw. This is a lover's and plus. And then a one <laughs> micron syringe filter will filter out powdery mildew if you do an extraction. Mm. And you can do it. You can do it. Could Dan says micron. that the only time you should do washing is uh, when you washing making hash. Yeah. Yes, I agree. You should only wash when you make hash. Yes, well, Dan, hash. Dan's been talking about these hash bags, <laughs> but oh, that's going to be a big job when we're bored. Uh, we're also going to bring you that uh, GT Hydro video soon, so please go check out Green Grow Room, Green Smoke Room, Grow Guru, uh, hydroponics.co.za, uh, Marijuana SA, and uh, Freedom Farms, and all those good oaks for all your grow needs. Uh, but it looks like washing your buds is a thing now, so vote yeah. in this week's poll. You've done it. No, sis, man. But Dan, you say you've had to do it, a compromise, but was it worth doing? It was very light. The plants were just literally, they were outdoor and they had a bit of powdery mildew. It's fucked, wash it. it's fucked. It was, I wouldn't wash a fucked plant. It wasn't, well, it's fucked, because no. essentially, like you say, <laughs> when you see powdery mildew, it's three weeks, four Love weeks in, you've got you don't want to wash it. Yeah, but you're it's telling late. me that you've never, yes, ever smoked a bit of powdery mildew bud. Yeah, but you have. Fuck. And when I've smoked from the outside bud. all the way towards the stem, and it's on the stem and inside. No, but that's no, no, no. That's no, no, no. See, there's levels. Hold yeah, on, there's, there's levels. There's <coughs> it's levels. Fuck, Come it's on. fucked. It's really? degrees. You can't wash something that's fucked. Of course, if yeah. it's really it's destroyed, it's if your on leaves, your leaves, you are yes. sorted. You can wash the plant. I wouldn't no problem. even worry about. If your buds have got powdery mildew inside, yeah, it's not recommended. Inside, I would never recommend it. Yes, I agree with that one. That's just cry. That's all you can do. With your but kids. talk about washing in America with the fires, these yeah, fires that they've had at the moment. Now all these plants yes. are covered in ash. Okay? They're gonna need Ooh. to wash. They need to wash their plants, but they can't wash their plants because why? When you take smoke or soot and you add water, it creates lye, and that basically cakes your plants up and it will uh, like it stops the plants stops from them. starves them from light from everything and also the water. As soon as it touches the ash, it creates like a a crust. You know, like this this. Mm coating on the plant and it kills it's plants immediately blowing. and then you need to so get now, vigorous with it to get that off and then you get in the truck there we go so but now you so there they're not washing they have to use a wind blower a, like, yeah. like a, a, a leaf blower and you go and you blow the Micro plants vacuum. every day to push all that dust off of the plants because if they water their plants they get this like mm. intense mm. mud on their plants Jeez. which is quite weird so See, uh, maybe it's dusty plants and that's the thing dusty plants dusty plants if you got outdoor plants and you've got dusty plants, and you've got the most dankest plants, but they're yeah. crap now, because honestly, they're full of sand, and they're dust on the actual trikes, and if you zoom into that thing, it looks really bad. Wash the fucking things, dust man. Just wash them, and yeah. you'll have a better bud. I swear you will. You will. It takes a lot of effort, because when you're growing a plant outside, or a hundred plants outside, it's a lot to wash. Or a thousand plants Or a thousand, or ten thousand, or whatever it is, but if you get that scale, you should But if you've right. got some small yeah. plants at home, and you and you see a bit of dust, or a little bit of PM starting, go leaf by leaf. Maybe if you live next to the highway. your plants nicely. You don't have to wash your plants in the bits. And well, it depends, bro, because there's a line, eh? But like, you know, like like the text is saying, you know, and I agree with it, you know, when, there's, when it gets into everything, you don't take care of it, it's re white yeah. you dust yeah. throw it away because that is bad. that is not anything even enjoyable because your plant actually won't even develop to what it should be too busy fighting the law that's it that's it i'm learning check crazy I'm days i wonder what's going to happen next when it comes to weed guys because it feels like every year there's something new this like i said the last year i'd never really heard of this thing and suddenly on the cannabis groups guys are asking guys are there are other asking. plants that get washed Lettuce. Tobacco. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. Tobacco, you were saying. Tobacco, lettuce, yeah. yeah. Most veggies, yeah. hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Every, every veggie you find in the shop is washed. True, okay. That was so a stupid question. Not, I am the queen of stupid questions. Why is it not a good practice then with your bud? Yeah. yeah. Maybe it bud so should be upon? washed, yeah. technically. Yes. Maybe it should be for... In butane. Because you're not smoking those tomatoes, bro. In butane. Maybe because we're smoking it, it should be even more washed. Yeah, because our lungs are delicate, sensitive little flowers. Right. Good girl point. Hey. Not ours specifically, mm. but... And if you want to be able to <laughs> smoke for life, then wash your buds. Is that what you're saying? I don't know, guys. Know your farmer. Wash it in butane and vape. That's a good one. Because combustion, smoking anything is bad for your lungs. Combustion is good. The vaping is good for you because there's no combustion. Well, yeah, vaping could be up to 90% healthier. Even that, yeah. let's be honest, nothing's supposed to go in your but lungs. But, so that's a good point. You must know, you know your farmer if you can. <clears throat> uh, 
Yeah, if you know who you're getting your bud from, yeah. then it's better. It's always better and, to know uh, what's in your weed, how it's been treated, how it's been grown. Oh, but some people don't have a choice. They've got to get that 50 oh, buck yes. Jalval bank. Yeah. 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 You can only wash your weed before it's it gets dried and, and cured, right? Yes. I'm just double checking. I'm some guys do water curing, which is another method, which they leave their bud in water for a couple of weeks and it draws the chlorophyll out of the plant. Mm -hmm. Helps it to. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We're going to have to cover yeah, that in another one because. It takes the pungency out of the taste. I've never tried it myself. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, sure. guys, that felt like a, a dope uh, grain with my buds. Uh, <laughs> But we're going to have to start figuring out some new things to talk about. You guys are going to have to start throwing some suggestions and ideas <laughs> our way. Because I've thought up this topic for three years and I'm just about spent. Okay, eh? well, make a note. Water curing. I want to know more about water this. Water curing, yes. I want to know more about this. Next yes, week, honestly, water yeah. curing. Eh? Is this something we can try on air, Dan? Has anybody got some bud that they're harvesting? No, not at the moment. Or that's just harvested? The seeds are just popping. So Actually, we'll get yes. there. Yes. 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 If you can bring like a couple of buds, but, yes. but then, yeah. We don't need to do a crazy job. amount, just a small enough amount. But there's a procedure well, you have to up. follow, actually. It takes a while. It hung up two days ago. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Stay tuned. Otherwise, we'll just find information and, and tell you about it. We'll steal content. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, so we just want to take a moment to say thank you to all the Fields of Green affiliates. Uh, there's a lot of brands who put their money where their mouth is. The, the views on the show here is just us blowing off steam. These guys are all legit. Uh, there's everything from clubs to grow stuff to soils to grow lights to bongs to cannabis testings. testings. There is so much services. Kits, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I got my affiliates handed back to me today. Futurama. So, um, and there's quite a lot of new ones. <laughs> and there are. There's quite a lot of new ones. I need to send out some emails and, and connect with some yeah, people. Yeah, we'll be uploading their hi. logos to the page. Bioleaf. Guys, Bioleaf do really awesome oh, soil as well. All of these guys are absolutely amazing, you know. And I've, I've missed them, quite frankly, while I've been away from doing that work for a little bit. I'm really, really glad to be back. And I'm looking forward to meeting the new guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Fields of Green couldn't do it without the support of those who support legalization. So, big thank you, big high five to all of mm. you all. Uh, while we're speaking about affiliates, uh, DeJoint, uh, these guys are out there at the Beersport side in yes. Joburg. They're having their first birthday bash. Yeah. They're having gang music, gang pizzas, no booze, but giveaways, dances. Uh, they tune, we've made it through one whole year. A pandemic for levels of lockdown and infinite stages of load shedding. Join us for a massive cele celebratory Zol Jol on yeah. Sunday the 11th of October. Uh, we have an explosive mix of the best local blues, jazz, gypsy swing, punk, garden games, giveaways, and the best crispy wood fire pizza. No booze, but I think gang Zol, no under 21s or cuck vibes. And if you take your bong or dab rig, they've got a guy there, um, Bushy, some... Huh? I can't remember <coughs> who it is, but I know I saw it on one of the ads. You get a, a free bong clean. Nice. You sure, get a free bong clean. So I if you like take your bong or your dab rig, uh, you can get yeah, it clean yeah, for free. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah but the public won't be allowed in the private members area. Yeah. So there won't be public cannabis smoking. No, it's only in the private members area. Yeah. So guys, check them out. They're good people, good vibes, a hella good view, I'll say that too. Eh? Oh, dude, it's amazing out there. Beautiful venue. Best pizza ever. 168. Really good pizza. But I think we say that just because we're grilled. No, no. <laughs> no, it's one to nine. All yeah, pizza yeah. is good when you're grilled. <laughs> Everything. No, the best pizza grilled. ever, ever, ever is my little local pizza place. And I feel really sad for those of you who don't know. So it's all right. Angelos, yeah. Some of the some of the Angelos. best secrets are close closely kept, eh, Joe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. In communities. <clears throat> so guys, please remember, go support those who support legalization at Fields of Green for All. A big thank you to those who supported on the, the GoFundMe and that. Go get merch, go get shirts. Uh just 
be cool. Huh? If you want to get some blades, go check out the Ico. We've got you covered on that. We've got the bongs. We've got the dab rigs. And maybe a 710 special tomorrow if I wake up early enough. Hey? Run, run some and crazy discounts. And coming soon, discounts. this lit as fuck um, piece of equipment. G pen cookie thing. Yeah, yeah. If you can't G find it then, <laughs> go look at Fields of Greens affiliates because they have all kinds of things. Everything your heart could desire. Everything. So, guys, we're about to take it easy with the felt workers of dankness. Hey, so you guys are going to drive. We're going to scroll through some bad P word. Can't say that anymore. <laughs> and Hi, pick a winner. I don't know who's going to pick the winner tonight. Dale. Dale. Sold. Okay. You're it. Tag. Okay, I need to get my list. <laughs> no. no. Oh. That's price. That, that looks like banana hammer. For some reason, it looks like a non hammer. Let me yeah. just check. Looks like a good time. Mimosa. Frosty. Yo! I like the trade. Mainlining. Well, I've seen that picture before, I'm not too sure. So, <coughs> guys, we're gonna feature these next week. Maybe on a shit or lit, eh? Cool. These guys are making some local hemp blades. Imported, but local vibes. Jamie's oh, got Jamie's, Jamie's all kind of looks. Mm -hmm. Jamie's got good stuff. Check out it's Jamie's Garden Shop, eh? That's it. Nice. Her bomber. Yes. That's it. Mm -hmm. Texture is going well. See, that's nice. See, this is like mm -hmm. the companion planting around it. Clever putting the fennel right there. Mm -hmm. I like Bite off some bugs, healthy plants outside. And those plants are happy yeah, praying to the sun. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. huh. It's like eating dinner. It's cool, oh. but needs some defoliation. <laughs> yeah, they the trend and start a chicken there. Yeah, okay. They, oh, oh that's that super crappy. Is it that, that is one really last cool. time? That's yeah. really pretty. Yeah. <clears throat> but us. Yeah. There's it's some that real same main line. pro scrubbing main going on. Yeah. Open her up. That's how you fight mildew and shit, guys. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Let in the sunshine. Yeah. That's yeah. also a live there. Yo, in a little pot, eh? You can almost feel the breeze actually in mm. that picture. Yeah. It's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> nice action shot. Mm. Very good. Yeah, big root ball. Mm. Fuck yeah. Mm. I'd smoke that. Yeah, there's a hair there. Where? <laughs> Everywhere. Oh, you see the oranges? Yeah. Big green Buddha. That's just pubage, bro. Yeah, we like it. Culture. Some side cycles there. They're like swelling now, eh? Hey? Mm -hmm. Everyone's learning how to use the space out there, right? Yeah. Beautiful bug. Yo! Oh. Check your coverage. Good lord. Nice points. Good mm -hmm. lord. So that would make like a really cool like um, background like. picture on the phone or the laptop yeah. kind of vibes. Or even a hoodie, eh? Yeah. yeah. Nice, bro. But those eggshells, eh? There's a bug. I love yeah, the bugs. It's not gonna go too quickly like that. Yeah, bro. You gotta soak them in. Uh, go watch our episode where we speak about making water soluble calcium. Uh, eggs and vinegar, instant winner. Lab. You'll learn. Yeah. I must go watch that video. Yeah. So eggs and vinegar. Yes. Eggshells and vinegar, yeah. Let's see that bug. What's that bug? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Mm. Yeah, Almost like a wasp. It's like a little fly. It's a wasp. That's a wasp that'll go and that, that's a predatory wasp more than well, not yeah, more than likely. I'm not an entomologist at all, so yeah. I don't know. But they, yeah. they wasps, there are certain types of wasps mm -hmm. that go and eat the bugs. Is that dangerous? They love it. Yeah. And no, they love it. So it's good for the plant because it's also a good one. Yeah. As long as they eat flies and caterpillars. So you don't chase all the bugs away. That's the thing, you don't need to chase them all away. And that big fat leaf looked like a little rose. Oaks have still been growing, yeah. hey? Yeah, and if you're flowering yeah. outside yeah. now, yeah. you know, you've got to worry. It's a tight yeah. nug. Yeah, that's yeah. Christmas. Tight nug. It's gonna be dang. Looks yeah. like two kilos. At least. <laughs> 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 what the sugar leaves? 
fair away. Nice. Yes, the game is so strong in this game. Everyone's got all yeah. kinds of equipment. Lots of manipulation going on. Everyone's oh, running yeah. really nice genetics because this is back sign point. Yes. Oh yes, no bug. Have a bug. <laughs> Mantis. No Mantis. There's a human being. Yes. <laughs> That's how it's all killing me. Yo, bro, that is a gorilla. Oh, bro. That could be Tito and the Wainies. You're going to be smiling. Mm. Bro, that's a crop, bro. That's a city of colas, eh? Yo, and fat birds. Mm. Motherland. No, no. There's cops watching. It's alright. Of course, there's crops. Public. Yes, that's it. But I always feel like the flash the is cheating. <laughs> <laughs> the flash is cheating, making it more frosty. It does make it frosty. Look frosty, yeah. Yeah. It's frosty it is frosty. It's frosty F, but it makes it look frosty Okay. Yeah. That looks good. That's right. Are those pictures in the dark with the mm. flash on the camera? Yeah, yes. So somebody asked me today what what is was the strawberry farm in the Western Cape doing with a wheat they grain? Hmm. Making strawberry juice. Who knows? I wonder, CBD strawberries <laughs> sell it on the black market. <laughs> Must go somewhere. It's only for research. Is this, this is a really a lot of pictures. This is the tag, oh, hey? Not the hashtag. I think there was 124. This is the tag. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's getting busy. This last week's episode. <laughs> All you oaks there at home Six. are nailing it. Rock and it. rolling. <laughs> Jules would be fucking miff at the amount of pictures we're dealing with. <laughs> <laughs> the best kind of myth, obviously. Yeah, no. Merrily myth. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, yeah, so. Uh, yeah. um, after a little bit. Now we'll check your favorite against my list of recent winners. Then you must post that Jules Mosaic picture you did. That was a dope picture with that scene thing. Why mm. didn't you tag us? Because I don't have Instagram. You could have chosen yourself as the winner. You don't have Instagram. I'll post it for you then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I really like the companion planting actually. Okay. I think yeah. it's a cool idea and I think everyone needs to do it. I'm tickled you. You're saying you're going to make a strawberry Bud Grows SA. Bud Grows SA. Yeah, I don't think they've won before. Cool. Well, well congratulations. Sun takes plants looking lush in their various stages and stra in the various stages and strains with yeah. their dull companions in the back. And sunlight, the energy of love. But ding, 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 bro, you are a winner, winner. 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 Well, I agree. Nice, man. There's quite a few entries this week. One, yeah, two, nice. three, four, There's five, six, seven, well. eight, nine, ten entries in Bangladesh. Nice. nice. Good effort, man. Look at this one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro. Nice Yo, fade. the fade. Slide your details into our DMs. Uh, don't forget to give us a t shirt size. We'll send you some Kif shit. Yeah, just like some of the Kif shit we showed off earlier. Very nice. So, guys, uh, this week's yeah. Zol poll was, have you ever washed your herb? Yes, no, sis, man. Uh, please remember, it's hashtag hotbox show on all the socials. Sorry, we got cut length there. You know, we have good mm. days, we have bad days, but yeah. we're just glad to hang out. It feels like every time we do yeah, this. We're still on Facebook. Ne? Yeah. yeah. For now. <laughs> <laughs> no, guys, so it's Vimeo, here we come. <clears throat> it's New Frontier shit, eh? So, this week's poll was courtesy of Facebook. Uh, yes, 31%. That's a lot more than I that's, expected. Yeah, shit, that's a lot more than I expected. Yeah, and no, we got no, a lot no, of no, votes, eh, no, guys? No, all the growers are watching. <laughs> <big news. laughs> we got like 60 votes, bro. Yeah. Hey, so, yes, was 31% of 19 uh, no was 48% and cis man was 21% fair spread yeah fair spread Weirdos. I'm surprised about the washes though I, I would have yeah. never thought that many so soon you know what the thing is it's, so watch out it's a lot of people maybe that are learning about say the ins and outs of growing in confined True. spaces because outdoor it <clears> happens <throat> rarely but if you just you can come match very easily outside and if you uh, there, there's, but that's the, it doesn't say what they're washing for. No. 
if they're doing it inside, they're going to learn and they're going to understand vent more, do more of your ventilation inside the room, defoliate, manage your plants. Mm. Yeah. But let's, mm. let's be real. This is like when you done got that chick preggers. You know, you only know when, when you, you know. know. And when you know, it's, it's too, too late. late. That's what I'm saying. So you, could do, you could do everything. But by the time no. it's... Sorry about it. Because you've got, you don't got lazy. Boy, <laughs> you don't got lazy. Yeah. And you yeah, didn't give two shits. And you thought you knew it all. <laughs> you know what, Dan? You're you victim blaming, me, Dan. You know you're victim blaming. It's a commitment. Because also growing a, a plant, it's, like, it's months. It's done like having a baby. Eh? Yeah. So, guys, be proactive. Not reactive if you need to be reactive. <laughs> there are solutions. Check out the Hawaii Cervantes. You know, stay tuned. Stay lit. Have we forgotten anything? Sure. <laughs> you need to <coughs> stay happy yeah. and... Just to know, stay choose. safe and choose happy. Happy. <laughs> or something because like that. You stay happy, Grow but choose safe. <laughs> <laughs> Use the whole slip lane and be kind.